gemacht. Bless you. Hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> teacher, una pregunta. Este, la asesoría va de, me, me, me quedo siempre en la, en la sesión, ¿verdad? No sí. me salgo. Sí, no, no, ah, okay. se sale. Solo, va. solo usted se va a quedar. Ah, ok, ok. okay. El Gracias. resto se va a descansar. Ok. Sí. Gracias. Así es que vaya anotando ahí las dudas. Sí. Y todo lo necesario para que... Por eso se nos ha pedido que va a ser de forma individual. Ok. Para que sea más fácil. Sí, tengo un par de, más que todo de una clase que no. Ok. Más que todo es esa. Pues ahí será la hora de preguntar. Bueno. Wilfredo, how are you, Wilfredo? Hi, teacher. Fine, and you? Okay, right here. Just waiting for the rest. We are here waiting for more knowledge about yeah. English. Yeah, okay. okay. What about you, teacher? How was your weekend? Oh, it was nice. Really? Yeah. It is okay. Great to hear that, teacher. Yeah, did yeah. You, did you enjoy your family? Yes, of course. Nice. I work with them. What do you do on weekend, teacher? Well, uh. In the morning, I, I need to attend some classes in the university. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. In the afternoon, I used to go out with my family. Okay. It is necessary to spend time with family. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, my friend. Where do you live, teacher? Do you live in Santa Ana? No, I live in the, in the east area of El Salvador, especially in the department of Usulután. But I live mm -hmm. in a small town known as Jucuapa in the north Jucuapa. area. Where do you live? So far. Yeah, so far from the capital. Yeah. Oh, so far that I, I live in Santa Ana. <laughs> you live in Santa Ana. Yeah, yeah far away. Uh, 
But, good evening. Good evening. But technology is the only way in order to get charter uh, with distance. Yeah, I get that you live here in Santa Ana. Yeah. Because my, my first son told me, hey, this, I know your teacher. Where did, where did you look in the university? But you look. Uh, uh, how, no, the, how situation, the, the situation is this, that I've been working in US. And, and I've been in some meeting in, in the US and Salvador. Uh, yes. Maybe he he has sold you. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I I know a lot of people from different places, you know. I have a more than 15 years teaching in different levels with different universities, public, uh, private, different places. Hey, teacher. And right Hello. now, here we are, sitting in yeah. front of the computer, just trying to do our best because it's totally different to be teaching and using a, a whiteboard or something like that, you know? Yeah. Teacher, what do you think about work at home, online? Well, at the beginning, it's really hard, you know, because we need to have a lot of things, uh, especially when it's at night, because we need to have a good light. Uh, we need to see and open our eyes in a in a in a very way, yeah. Take care of everything, you know, the environment and the interference. Suddenly, we are speaking when a, a dog is barking, or a motorcycle yeah. is, is running or a car, you know, a lot of things happen. It's a noisy environment. Yes, and it is. It will be difficult for me at work at home. But yeah. My sister, my sister, uh, he is, he works in the, he works in the university, national. Okay. In Santana, but he has to work uh, online. Yes. She, she always told me it's very hard because all day I have I had have, have to giving a consulta. How do you say teacher? Uh, talking about what, what kind of consulta? Yeah. About your student. Oh, when when they when when they ask something extra information or something yeah. like that. Okay. He has to, to give all your student information. Answering all, all the messages, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it, it, sometimes it, it's really it really hard because I used to, to work with the platform, you know? But in public school, a student, uh, some of them, they don't have uh, internet access and they just got data and they, send all the homework using WhatsApp. And imagine attending more than 12 groups and receiving a lot of information in your, in your cell phone. It's really difficult, you know? Yeah, it's stressful, teacher. Yeah. I imagine. But we had to do but it, my friend. We had to do it for, because Okay, somebody is at work at this time. Well. Okay, teacher. Stephanie Mengibar. Okay, welcome back to all of you. No. Today we are going to talk about a new topic. And well, we are going to learn something new. I don't see my manual here. Let me see what it is right here. What about the the dictionary? I I I send you something in in the group.
Here we go. Okay. Let me see how many people do we have? 15. We are going to wait two minutes more in order to let them get in. How is the weather in your town, my friend? Sorry, teacher. How is the weather in your town? Yes, very hot. Yeah, it, right here is, is hot too. Remember that San Miguel and Usulután are the ones. Here in Santa Ana, teacher, is in midday is uh, so so hard yeah but but in the afternoon at night in the morning it's gooder the weather yeah yeah 14 15 uh, grados as you say grados celsius teacher that's All right, here we, we, we are Celsius, but but in the United States, it's Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit. Yeah, Fahrenheit is, is totally different, you know? Yeah. But in San, San Miguel, in, in this area over San Miguel is very, very hot, teacher. Yeah, close to 40, 40 mm -hmm. degrees. Yeah, for that reason, we need to drink a lot of water, a lot of liquid, you know? Yeah. But what about the rest of people? What about you, Edward? How are you, Edward? Fine, fine. Um, uh, okay. Here is uh, cool. Okay. More, more or less cool. Where do you live, uh, my friend? I live in Nahuizalco, oh, no. Sonate. Nahuizalco. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. I don't remember exactly, but I've been there. Um, is the first um, city of um, flower root? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is the name of the of the next city that is next to? Nahuizalco. Uh, first is Nahuizalco, uh, second Salcuatitán. Yeah. Uh, after uh, Huayua. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the Yapaneca, Yapaneca. Ataco, yeah. Aguachapán. Beautiful this places. Is, this is the flower, flower root. Yeah, the flower roots. Flower, okay. Nice. Okay. It's nice to know. What about ladies? Congratulations for all the ladies that we have in the group. Today is the International Day of Ladies. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Okay. <laughs> Let me see, we have 16. Okay, we are going to start only just four. We are waiting for four. Let me see what we're going to do. Okay.
Let me show you this. Okay, right here, we are going to start with unit two. Welcome back. This week, we are going to study a new vocabulary related with uh, companies, in this case, talking about industrial classification and where they uh, operate. This is our objective. We are going to exchange information about the companies expertise industrial classification and where it operates okay but in order to start this class we are going to talk about something that uh, usually happen in companies i got a question for all of you and the question is uh, have you ever attend a seminar or a training when was it Or maybe the question could be, when was the last time that you attend a seminar or a training in your company? Try to remember that. Do you understand the question? I need that your mind go back in time and remember when was the last time that you attend a seminar a, or a training in your company. Maybe Tell me. In my company, every uh, all during the year, uh, every month we have a, a semin seminary and but online right now because we can start. We can be. Um, together in the classroom. Only virtually. Yeah. And that, that's why we receive, receive it uh, online. OK. And, uh, yeah. Every month we have to, we have to, to receive um, one from per, per, per month. OK. What about the rest of people? Tell me. When was the last time that you attend a seminar or a training about something new? Para los que no han entendido la pregunta, ¿cuándo fue la última vez? que recibieron algún seminario o algún entrenamiento en su empresa. In my company is, um, is uh, uh, today uh, receive uh, English. Ah, OK. Mm -hmm. In your company? Yeah, my company, see. yes. Okay. And how, how was it? Easy? Mm, difficult? It's difficult. Difficult. What's difficult? <laughs> difficult. <laughs> Why? More, more difficult. <laughs> okay. Somebody else? Somebody else. Alguien más, alguien más? Eh, mi teacher. Okay. Actually, actuality? Actually? Actually received uh, seminaries in the human research. The talents human. Okay. About human rights. Human rights. Mm, okay. Somebody else? Uh, me teacher. 
Okay, Diana, tell me. In my company, every three months, we do a sales meeting. Okay. Nice. Somebody else? Uh, me teacher, uh, my company is poly, is the policy. Okay. Uh, policy, my company. That's it? Uh, my company, politics, um, my company. Policies of your company? Policy. Internals. Internal policies. Internal policies, yes. Okay. Somebody else? Okay, I need that all of you participate. The next one, the next question is, it is easy for you to socialize at those events? Es fácil para usted socializar en esos eventos? Tell me, yes or not? Yes. Okay. How do you usually break the ice, make people feel more friendly to talk to each other? ¿Cómo hace para romper el hielo para que las personas sean amigables y hablen unas a otras? Share, a, share with us a technique, how you do it. Talking about common topic, teacher. Yes. If we are with men, we can talk about sport, different sport. kind of sport, football, football, soccer, basketball, and another sport. Then it is easy. What about ladies? What about ladies? Señoritas, señoras. Talking. Um, uh, talking. Uh, the hobbit. Uh, uh, preference. Uh, 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 um, full favorites. Um, okay. Hobbit favorite. Yeah, it's nice. We'll talk about favorite food or something like that, you know? Mm, yes. Yeah, we used to. Uh, we can use a general question about general topic. Yeah, asking or giving, oh, hey, hi, my name is Max. I live in Ukwapa. I work. Yeah, mm -hmm. talking about different topics. Yeah, that is good. Yes. Okay. Somebody else want to talk about this? Hey, teacher. Okay, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Uh, in my case, how do you say it? In my case? Yeah, in my case, uh, my boss break the ice uh, by making a joke. Okay. Joke. Uh -huh. Yeah, yo. I from joke. the department. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. What about the rest of people? I'm waiting that they participate. En lo que ellos van pensando participar, yo voy tomando la asistencia. Pero necesito que todos participemos. Rosa. Rosa Esperanza. 
I present. Yes. Okay. Rosa is present. Genara Ines. Present teacher. Eso, Genara. Welcome. Gutierrez Sánchez. Present teacher. So far, pero ahí está. Present. Okay. Karen Yesenia. Present teacher. Welcome. Welcome back. Ada Daisy. Present teacher. Welcome. Diana Carolina. Present teacher. Okay. Wilfredo Guardado. Present teacher. Okie dokie. Francisco Javier. Excuse me. I miss one. Leslie Fernandez. I, I miss one. Yeah. Leslie. Present teacher. Okay, ahí está. Present teacher. Okay, okay, okay. Francisco Javier. Francisco Javier. No. Cristian Obdulio. No. Alexis Antonio. Alexis. No, please. Okay. Uh, teacher. Hi. Uh, Alexis uh, me dijo que estaba enfermo. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Ed, Edward Ademir. Present teacher. Okay, welcome back, sir. Felicita Cruz. Felicita. Felicita. Helen María. Helen María. Ana Roxana. Present teacher. Okay. Fausto. Present teacher. Fausto Guevara Callejas. Present. Mengíbar Contreras. Mengíbar Contreras. Eliane Alejandra. Tenía problemas de internet, dijo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ok, we want to wait for her. Walter Mauricio. Present teacher. Ok, ahí está la tripulación. Ahí está la tripulación y nos vamos. Ok. Ok, uh, let us work on exercise number two. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with the partner at a seminar at a seminar they are in a seminar they are talking okay let me see what they are talking about okay my name is rick nice to meet you nice to meet you too i'm jack i work i next in ojo con los nombres de las empresas what does i next in do jack we manufacture cardboard boxes for packing companies. Oh, I see. Does INEX have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. It's a general information. They are talking in a seminar. Yeah, in an easy way, they start talking about general information. I'm going to read again. My name is Rick. Rick, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for INEX In. What does INEX In do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packing in companies. Oh, I see. Does 
INEX have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. Okay. This is an example that you can use it the next time that you are going to be in a seminary with somebody else that you don't know from another company, you can start just introducing yourself, giving your name and saying, nice, nice to meet you. Or if somebody introduced first, you are going to say, nice to meet you too. And you are going to use your name. I am Max, I work for Minedusit or US and so on. Okay. Do you want me to read it again? Le gustaría que los lea de nuevo? Sí, sí, yes teacher. Yes. Okay. Yes teacher. Okay, despacito, yes. miren, voy despacito para que se les vaya quedando. Ojo con los nombres de las empresas que generalmente a veces eh, Eso es, es, es un tanto complejo porque algunas veces se, los nombres se leen tal como están. But in this case, I'm trying to adapt to English. Okay. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Inex In. What does Inex In do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packing companies. Oh, I see. Does INEC have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country and we are the headquarters. Ah, I'm sorry. And where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. Okay. Now I need a couple of volunteers who wants to read it. Me teacher. Yo teacher. I teacher. Okay, los primeros dos, los primeros dos que dijeron no sé. Uh, qué read. Primero fue una. Uh, read. The, uh, okay, teacher. Edward, Edward y no sé si fue Diana o fue. No, no sé quién de las dos fue primero. No creo que fue Diana, sí. Ok, Rosita, nos quedamos en el second round. Vamos, Diana, okay. comienza usted con Edward. Ok. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Jack. I work for I work for Inex Inc. What does an Inex Inc do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packing companies. Oh, I see. Does INEX, INEX have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. Okay, excellent. But remember that we need to put our feeling. My name is, imagine that I'm going to use my own name. My name is Mark. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Somebody's going to, nice to meet you too. I'm, uh, I'm uh, Diana. I work for INEX Inc. In that way, you know? It is like, it has to be naturally. Debe ser de forma natural. Así, no, no, no así tan con nervios o no, relájense, suelten todo eso. Lo importante es que perdamos el miedo de cometer errores. Si cometemos errores, avanzamos. Pero si estamos ahí de que no querer el pecar, de no cometer ningún error a la hora de pronunciar algo, nunca vamos a avanzar. Rosita de Girón y alguien más. Ay, teacher. Ok. Comience el caballero. Ok. Uh, my name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Rosita, enciende el micrófono. Uh, 
ahora, ahora estaba en mío, perdón. Estaba en mío, comience de nuevo, caballero. Ok. My name is Fritz. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Jap. I work for NXM. What does NXM do, Jap? We match for it. We match for it. Cardboard boxes for baking companies. Oh, I see. Does NXM how many branches? Yes, I does. Uh, we have the made for in my manu manufacturing branches in the country. And uh, where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. Okay, thank you. The rest of you are going to use your own name. I'm going to read it again. I am going to read it again. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Inex In. What does Inex In do, Jack? We manufacture, listen, manufacture. Remember that in English, when we have a word that end in E, we don't pronounce it. Recordemos que cuando tenemos una palabra que termina en E, en inglés no se pronuncia. Example, low. You know? Leave. Hate. Come. Have. Etc., etc., etc. Only in these cases, for example, right here, this plural, this is boxes, boxes. Remember that we have studied this kind of plural in nouns in the last class. Se recuerdan que vimos eh, los plurales de algunos nombres cuando terminan en diferentes eh, letras como CH, SH, etc., etc. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yes? Yes. Okay, in this yes. case is manufacture, manufacture. Okay, cardboard boxes and packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. They're in Panama, okay? Somebody else wants to read it? Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Okay, we're afraid of and the lady. But try to do it, oh, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Try to do it using your own name, please. Yes, teacher. Go ahead, sir. Okay. My name is Wilfredo. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Ada. I work for INEX Inc. What does INEX Inc. do? Uh, sorry, I, I forgot. Ada. Name. Ada. Ada. What does INEX do, Ada? Uh, we manufacture cardboard box for packaging company. Oh, I see. Does INEX have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And um, where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, I need that you pay special attention to some expression. For example, right here, we say there. This is a contraction. Instead of say they are, we say there. 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 Yeah. There. And right here, 
Am. 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 Yeah, yeah. We need to we need to put together uh, both lip. Am. Am Jack. Am. Um, yeah. Instead of say um, I I am. It's a short way oh. to say I'm I'm Jack. I work for um, IMX yeah. team. Okay. Um, what about this one? Man, man, manufacturer. Branches. Man, manufacturer. Yeah. Man okay, branches. I'm gonna read it again. Try to try to keep it in mind. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I'm Jack. I work for Inexpin. What does Inexpin do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packing companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Remember, that is a question. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? Is it plural? Headquarters. They're in Panama. Okay. Question, sirs. Question, ladies. Pregunta sobre alguna no, palabra? No question. No question. Okay. No, no question. No question. Bra no question. Teacher, branches. Branches <laughs> is. Um, Equivalent to uh, sucursal. Yeah, yeah, we have many branches. Ojo, ojo con esta palabra, porque si la buscas así sola, eso es branches como una rama. Yeah, but we are talking about companies, we, we are talking about eh, sucursales, branches. Y como termina en CH, le agregamos ES. Remember that? Okay. And we have here some explanation. Headquarters, the meaning of headquarters, the place where a company or organization has its main offices. Somebody wants to read in Spanish? Only Sería como, como la casa matriz. Yes, that's the main idea. Eso se le llama interpretación, lo que acaba de hacer no la traducción literal. Así es que hay que hacer, hay que agarrar la idea principal. What about branch? A shop or office representing a large company or organization in a particular area. What is this in Spanish? You already told me, but I need to know more. Sí, sería como una sucursal en este caso. Yes, representing the, the large company, mm -hmm. organization. Okay. Excellent. What about number three, peer work? What two questions would you ask Rick to continue the, the conversation? Practice the an expanded conversation with the partner. Imagine that we can add uh, two questions right here. What would be? Para continuar la conversación, ¿qué otras dos preguntas puedo agregar ahí? Based on the information uh, that we have. Uh, se lo digo en español y después lo traducimos al inglés o, o digo solo en inglés. Como quiera, y como le salga más fácil. Uh, uh, porque yo le preguntaría, eh, como él dijo que tienen tres, tres eh, sucursales yeah, sí, en el sí. país. Sí, Entonces, Manu, ¿dónde Brancho están ubicadas las otras dos? Yeah. Ajá, ¿Dónde están ubicadas las otras dos sucursales? Ya. Yeah. Good question, but now en inglés. Um, sería así como Where are they uh, located? Where are where are located? Yeah, where the are other, the the other branches? Yeah, no, or, or only as yeah, you say, okay, where are the the other located? 
maybe okay. in another country. I don't, we don't know. Okay, somebody else wants to participate? Me teacher. Okay. I will ask him if, do you help me to work in your company? <laughs> it's a good question. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. How can I do? How can I do in order to work in your company? Yes, but first of all, <laughs> but first of all, to move to another company, you need to talk about money, you know? You need to know exactly how much you are going to get the money. Yeah. Will be have a good salary, maybe. Yeah. Or can we travel to work Panama? Imagine you need to travel and live there. Okay. Somebody else? Um. Hello, hello. Solo han participado dos, tres. Y es en parejas. Y tenemos, let me see how many people, 16. Tenemos 16. Me teacher. Okay. Um, um, they play to open other branches in Panama. Mm hmm. That means that you are you that you want to know if they they have another branches in the same country. La puede repetir? <laughs> yeah, if you are asking if they have another branches in another country, because they, uh, he already mentioned we have three manufacturing branches in that country. Uh -huh. Yeah, maybe they are in, in, in Panama, I don't know. Okay. Voy a pensar en otro entonces. Okay, 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 uh -huh. okay. Or maybe you, your idea is to ask a question if they have branches in another country instead of oh. Panama. Uh -huh. Yeah. Do you have uh, more branches in Latin America? And maybe he's going to answer, yes, we have in Costa Rica and we are planning to have a son in El Salvador. Yep. Okay. Okay, somebody else? Hello. Hey, teacher. Tell me. Uh, how many employees do you have on the Panama headquarters? Mm, it's a good question. How many people do you have in, in, in your company? Yeah, nice question. Okay. What about uh, something else? Oh, another other question? Uh teacher tell me do you visit uh, do we just no do you visit the branches do you visit the branches do, do you visit three branches or maybe the question could be have you ever visited the branches ¿Alguna vez usted ha visitado, ha visitado las sucursales? Las tres, las tres sucursales. Yeah, the, the three manufacturing branches. Sí. Okay. Mi teacher. 
Okay, tell me. Uh, sería, how many cardboard boxes do you make per year? How many car boxes do you produce in a year, in a week, in a day, in an hour? Yeah, good question, sir. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Teacher, una pregunta, ¿cómo se dice fundada? Fundada? Talking uh -huh. about companies? Uh -huh. Since? Since? Since. Mm. No es. No. No, 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 no. Let me see, let me see, let me see. The foundation of the company. No. Right here it doesn't mention that. But sometimes we 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 tend to use uh the headquarter or, or, or the main the main office is located in the foundation of my company is in Miami, for example. Yeah. I don't know if if that the question. No sé si esa es su pregunta o. Más que todo quería preguntar una pre algo así como cuántos años tiene de fundada. Ah, okay. How many oh, years compañía. does your company? How many years? Yeah, how many years does your company uh, have working, for example? And you don't need to use the word fundada. Okay. Yeah, in English, le explico en español. De repente usted quiere decir algo, pero la palabra que quiere decir o la principal no se la sabe, no no encuentra cómo, entonces usamos otras palabras. If you don't know how to say fundada, usted le pregunta cuántos años tiene de funcionamiento su compañía. Mm -hmm. yeah? And that way we can keep in talking about the, the company, you know? Okay. Yeah, my company was founded uh, 30 years ago and so on. Okay. Okay. Okay, tell me. Uh, uh, how long have you was study operator operation in Panama? Do you repeat the question? How long? No sé si es la pronunciación. La pronunciación. How long how do you study operation in Panama? How long? How long? Yes. Yes. Okay. How long? Cuánto tiempo? Yeah. Yes. Are you talking about that? Yes. Okay. How, how, long, you been, oper how, how long have you been Panama. operating in Panama? Yes. Okay. Okay, somebody else want to talk? Where it, where it is was a foundation the company? Can you repeat again, please? Where it is, where it was foundation the company? Where was funded? Where was your company funded? Uh -huh. Where is the company funded? Oh, okay. In Spanish? Eh, ¿Dónde fue? Eh, ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde fue fundada la compañía o dónde está okay. establecida? I got you, I got you. You are talking about the past. That means that you are going to use was. In present, we use is. In past, we use was. Where was your company founded? Where right. Was, yeah. Where it was company?
with its quads. Okay. Okay, what about, I need two volunteers to talk about this short conversation by using your own name and your own uh, company name too. Antes de pasar al siguiente ejercicio, me gustaría dos voluntarios que hagan una conversación corta usando el ejemplo, pero con sus propios nombres y su propio, uh, valga la redundancia, su propio nombre de la compañía donde trabaja. Veamos, a ver si es. Ok, Wilfredo y... Son variados. Mi teacher. Ok. Wilfredo y Edward. Ok, do it, Wilfredo. Ok. Uh, my name is Wilfredo. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Edward. I work for Cotecna Inc. What does in Cotecna Inc. do, Jack? Sorry, Edward. <laughs> okay. We we um como sería realizamos teacher dígame la expresión mm. completa de todo lo que, que hace uh, nosotros realizamos escaneos a la mercadería uh, que entra y sale del país we we scanner all the all the ah, products okay okay we es, we scanner all the product and check in and check out the of company, the on country, country of country. Okay, continue. Interesting. Interesting, Edward. And I see that. Would you repeat your your company's name, please? Cotecna. 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 Thank you. I see. Does Cotecna have many branches in El Salvador? Yes, it does. We have four manufacturing branches in the country and um, in Acajutla Port and Achadura and uh, Angiatu, El Poi and Amatillo. Borders. El Amatillo. Okay. Great. Your job is very interesting. And um, tell me, where where are the branch head, headquarters? They're in Switzerland. Um, okay. Suiza, Switzerland. Switzerland. Okay. Switzerland. Jesus, my friend. It's really nice. That means that you have a four checkpoint. You have a four checkpoint. That means that you control everything that is getting into the country and get out the country. Especially, especially in border, right? Oh, yeah, uh -huh. in border and Acajutla Sport. Okay. Uh -huh. In the future, in La Union Port 2, okay? Cutuco. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, in La Union, in La Union. Me, me to the teacher. Yeah, yeah, close to me right here. We are still waiting for the airport and the, the train of the, the ocean, you know? the Pacific train, we hope, we hope to see it. We hope, yeah. we hope to see it. Okay, thank you very much. Maybe not. Yeah, go ahead. Well, not this, I'm going to say <laughs> you in, in the future. Yeah. Uh, you, you will be, go to the Kutuko 
yeah, yeah. maybe I, I would Pacific, like to Pacific Ryan. I, I would like to work in a different area, you know. No in teaching, maybe in something else because I used to work in a in a company, an American company, and I was a manager office. But mm -hmm. also the twin tower when they uh, fell it. I lost my job, you know, but I used to work with Americans. The head bar, uh was in, in Miami, in Florida, and I used to travel there. Did you live in, in do you live, did you live there? Yeah, I spent on, some time. Hey, interesting. Yeah, but because of the, as I told you, because of the team tower when, when they fell it, I had to move again. I had to to come back. It will be right. Yes, it is. Okay, what about the rest of people? Is it sleeping? No? Se me están durmiendo. Okay, we are going to work in exercise number four. We are going to do a pair words. You are going to list three companies with branches in your country and the location of its headquarter. Just three, the company, the branches, and the headquarter. Try to keep it in mind. Remember, if you want, you can write it down. The branches here and the headquarter. I'm going to give you like two minutes in order that you can work with somebody else, I'm going to use, let me see. I'm going to use a breakout room and automatically you are going to be with somebody else and you are going to talk about it. Okay, here we go. Let me see how many people do we have. Oh, somebody left. I'm going to switch. Vamos a cambiar la técnica porque alguien se me fue. Ya tengo solo 15, no me salen las parejas. Alguien se desconectó. Maybe accident. Ok, de los que no han participado, tell me uh, a company names, the branches and the headquarter. Where is it? Could be your own company where where you work. Me mencionan el nombre de la compañía, las sucursales y dónde está eh, la principal. Una, okay. una. Okay. Okay. Intra company intra What is the name? Intraesa company. Okay, Intraesa. What about branches? How many branches? Branches, uh, three, four, five. For five branches. branches. Okay. For branches. Hel headquarters uh, in Santa Ana. Santa Ana. In Santa Ana. Okay. Um, Ilopango. Uh, two branches in Soyapango. Okay. What does your company do? ¿Qué hace su compañía? Ah, eh, manufacturing clothes, um, clothes um, casual, clothing ca casual, casual, casual clothes, casual clothes. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Tom Mariel. Mi teacher. Okay. Uh, company, Arte Metal, Compa Arte Metal Company. Okay, Arte Metal uh, Company. Branches uh, is in Merliot. Merliot. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the um, headquarters in San Martin. It's located in San Martin, yes. El Salvador, Central America. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Somebody else?
what about you, Ada? Ada Arevalo, do you want to participate? Mm. In my company is, no sé cómo decir, alcaldía, municipalidad. The city hall? ¿Cómo? Alcaldía y city hall. City hall. Yeah, city hall. Uh, um, um, and branches. Um, in Mexicano. Okay, Mex Mexicanos. Um, Are you took the peque, maybe? No. No, 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 no. Headquarters, no. No headquarters. No. Tiene. But you talking about the city, the city hall of San Salvador, or or, or, or the Mexicanos? Eh, Mexicanos. But the headquarters is, is the one that is in the in the city. Esa sería la principal. Ajá, que no tiene, no tiene sucursales. Ah, ok. It doesn't have branches. Entonces, mm -hmm. it doesn't have branches. Only just the headquarter. Mm -hmm. Ok. Marielos, do you want to talk? Marielos. In my company, El Nuevo Siglo. Nuevo Siglo. Two branches. Okay. San Salvador. Nuevo Siglo. Two branches. San Salvador. Headward San Salvador. Okay, in the same play. Eliani, tell us. Good evening. Good evening. My company, John Juan El Salvador. Not branches that were in Oloquilta, El Salvador. Okay, Oloquilta. Stephanie. Hola. Hola, Stephanie. Hola. Me escucha. Yes. Eh, yo la hice, pero con otra empresa, según hasta donde yo entendí, era eh, empresas que hay aquí, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, entonces eh, eh, sería Company eh, Free Ride Chicken de okay. Rey Campero. Uh -huh. eh, Branch era eh, las sucursales, ¿verdad? Yes. Eh, Metro Centro, eh, 25 Avenida North, 29 Avenida North, eh, Avenida España, es las sucursales. Okay. Y las la sede um, 60 eh, y eh, sexta y décima, ¿cómo se dice? Six and sexta y décima. Ten. Ten. En ten. Uh -huh. eh, um, décima, décima, and train and south avenida de sur. Eh, San Salvador. Ok, too specific. Mm -hmm. Very specific. Sí. Ok. What about you, Karen? Tell us, Karen. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Hi. Eh, este sería. Bueno, de. No sé, de Freon. Freon, Freon, ok, Freon. Ajá, este. La dirección sería. What about branches, branches, branches. Ajá. Ok, sería este. Ay, no sé cómo. cómo a ver, calle en Colonia Montevón, creo que es. Sí, va. Sí. Ajá. Yeah, but, yes. but remember that the Freon, we can find Freon in different places. Eh, Matriz. Okay, the, 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 the ah. headquarter. 
Hardcore, ok. okay. Ajá, este sería Mon Colonia Montpegón. Ok. What about y branches? Branches, eh, en Soyapango, en, en Metrocentro, no sé. <ríe> eh, Santa Tecla. Soy Apango, Metro Centro, Santa Tecla. ¿Vas a decir? Tiene más, pero. Yes, a lot, a lot of branches. San Miguel, yes. San Miguel, eh, friend, have a big one, you know? Yes. Only, only in San Miguel, we can find, let me see, Santana. three. One that is in the downtown area, una que está en el centro, one that is in the Avenida Roosevelt, and one that is in Metro Centro. Solo San Miguel tiene tres branches. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Somebody else? Enciendan las cámaras, por favor. Me, teacher. Okay, Genara, welcome. Creí que, creí que solo yo había sido. <laughs> <laughs> La creí pampa. Que, creí que solo yo había sido el... Este, está una en el Boulevard Constitución. En Elvis, please. Este, en los planes de rendero y el volcán es la sede. Vale, en inglés. Tell me en inglés. <risa> ya, ya se la voy a hacer, ya se la digo. The headquarter is located in, the branches are in. Ok. Somebody else want to talk? Me, teacher. Okay, tell me. A, co a company, John Gone, El Salvador, CADCB. Okay. And Brightly is in Olocuilta. Olocuilta. Our quarter is, is Department La Paz, El Salvador. Okay. Okay, let me see. Okay, I need to check out the, I need to check out the, the, the assistant, the, the attendant. Let me see, let me see. Okay, let me see the attendance for today. Okay, let me see. Rosa Esperanza is there? Rosa Esperanza is present? Hello, hello. No present. Creo que dijo que tiene problemas para volver a entrar a la plataforma. Sí, al internet. Ahí puso en el grupo. Okay, Genara. Genara. Yeah. Ok, Genara. Margarita Stephanie Gutiérrez Sánchez. Yo, aquí estoy. Ok. Karen Yesenia. Estoy. Eh, Ada Daisy. Pache. Present teacher. Ok, Diana Carolina. Present teacher. Ok. Uh, Wilfredo. Se me olvidó. Present teacher. Ahí está, ahí está. Ahí está. Leslie. Uh -huh. I'm, Leslie. I'm here. Ok, 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 ok. Leslie. Present teacher. Francisco Javier, Francisco Javier. Edward Ademir. Present teacher. Okay, Christian of, of Dulio. Alexi Antonio. Alexi Antonio. 
Uh, Alexis dijo que estaba enfermo, teacher. Yeah, 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 yeah. Felicita Cruz. Felicita. No, Felicita. Helen María. Ana Roxana. Se me durmió. Fausto. Present teacher. Carla Marielos. Present. Mengíbar Contreras. No. Eliani. Present. Mengíbar Contreras. Mengíbar Contreras se había quedado, pero ya apareció. Sí, ya voy de camino atrás. Okay. Okay. Walter Mauricio. Present teacher. Okay. Present Eliani. Eliani, sí, ya la tengo ahí. Listo, tranquilos. Ok. Let us continue. Let us continue. Ok, we are going to work with the exercise number five. Remember that you can access to this link and you can get more information about the topic. For example, in the first one, you are going to expand your vocabulary about companies, departments with this video. You can watch it in your free time, right? And also we can find some podcasts about language and sample conversation to describe your company. You can access well at the time that you wish one. Okay, exercise number five. In exercise number five, uh, we are going to make a match, match the product service to the corresponding industry type. Then we are, uh, you are going to check answer with a pattern. But first of all, we are going to get familiar with this word. For example, I'm gonna read bank, soft drinks, Guide tours, cardboard boxes, buildings, mobile phones, medicine, car components, hair salon services, and cloth. And we have the description at the right. The beauty and personal care industry the construction industry, the textile industry, the telecommunication industry, the financial industry, the automotive industry, the packaging industry, the beverage industry, the tourism industry, and the last one, the pharmaceutical industry. And you are going to make a match, which one correspond to each word. For example, number one, the bank. We already had the number one here, the financial industry. Los bancos pertenecen a la industria financiera. Okay? Okay. I'm gonna give you like three minutes in order that you can do it. If you have any question about how to pronounce a word or something like that, just write your hand and I can help you. And the okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
¿Cómo le hacemos? Bueno, son 15 personas. Let me see, 15 people do we have now? I got, I got 16. I got 16. Okay. One is going to, one is going to read the number and uh, another one is going to uh, read the, the answer. For example, if I say banks, Wilfredo is going to say the financial industry. Okay. Okay, go ahead, Stephanie. Stephanie. Hola. Do it. Number two. Uh, so, right. Is the beverage industry. Repeat the, this, these two la words. Uh -huh. Repeat. La dos and la H. Yeah. Soft right. Soft listen, right. listen, listen. Soft, soft drinks. Soft drinks. Drinks. Soft drinks. 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 Okay. Drinks. Okay. drinks. okay, thank you. Number three. Me teacher. Oh, who is me? Who is me? me. Who's a me? Okay, do it. Do it, do it, do it. Seven, teacher. Number? Seven. Number seven, but what about number three? Hmm. Remember that we are following the order. Podría repetir la, ¿cómo se dice? Guide tours. No lo puedo decir. Guide tours. 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 Guide Yep, yeah, in order that you can use the, the language. Okay. okay. Guide tours. Okay, what is the answer? Try to mute your, your microphone. Only only the one the one that is going to answer can uh turn on, please. Mantengamos los micrófonos en silencio y solo el que va a responder lo enciende para que no haya interferencia. If you want to, to participate, just raise your hand. And in that way, I'm going to see that you are the one. Okay, what about, what about number four? Um, Number four. Me teacher. Okay. Leslie, do it. Uh, cardboard boxes, uh, number G, the parking industry. Letter E. Ah, uh, correct. Letter E. Uh, letter G, the parking industry. Ah, uh, letter G. The packaging industry. Yes. Letter, letter G. Okay. Okay. Next, number five. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Me. Letter B. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see. Okay. Lady Fair, Wilfredo. Ladies, ladies, lady fair because remember that today is the, yeah. is the international day of the ladies, you know. Thank okay. you. Okay, okay, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Uh, buildings, uh, uh, is B, 
the construction industry. Okay, we are going to repeat this expression. The contraction industry. Contraction industry. Okay, the contraction industry. The contraction industry. 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 The contraction industry. The contraction industry. Yeah, 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 well done, well done. <laughs> okay, no, number, okay, excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. Number number six. Okay, number six. Number six. Mobile phones. Okay, mobile phones. The, the telecommunication in the industry. Okay, we are going to read it. Repeat. Mobile phones. Mobile phones. Mobile phones. Mobile phones. Okay. The, tele the telecommunication. Tele Telecommunication industry. The, the, tele, the telecommunication communication. industry. The telecommunication industry. The telecommunication industry. Okay, thank you. Me, teacher. Number seven. Number seven. No. Okay. Teacher. Go ahead, Karen. Medicine. Yeah, medicine. The pharmaceutical industry. Excellent. Well done. Number eight. Number eight. Me, teacher. Okay, do it. Ada. Car components. Uh, the automotive industry. Automotive industry. Okay. Number nine. Okay. Number nine. Me teacher. Me teacher. Okay, how can I do? How can I do? Edward or, or, the, or the lady? Lady. Lady. Okay, lady, lady. 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 Okay. Thank you. Hire salon service. Little A, the beautiful beauty and personal care industry. Okay, number nine, hair salon okay. service. Mm -hmm. Letter A, the beauty and personal care industry, okay? And the last one? Me, teacher. Okay. Clones. Clones. The textile industry. Letter? C. Letter C, the textile industry, the okay? Industry, uh-huh. Ok, leer así. Ahora vamos a comprobar a ver si los demás que no participaron estaban prestando atención. Genara García. Yo les fui la última que les respondí. Yeah, you was the last one. Ok. <laughs> ok, ok. Yeah, está en clase, mira. That is good. Ya les respondí todo. <laughs> Okay, let me see somebody else. Walter Mauricio, tell me number number eight. In a hurry, rapidito, rapidito, la numero. Number eight, eight. eight. Yep. Iron Salon Service, the beauty and personal care industry. Number eight, number eight. Uh, uh, car components. Yeah, car uh, component. the automobile industry. The automobile industry. Ok, ok. Choose your victim. Elija uno, pero de los que no han participado, le da un número y que responda en menos de cinco segundos. Te amo. Eh, eh, Miss Rosa de Girón. Ok. Eh, number, number three. Number three, Rosa. Gators. Eh, Gators es. Um, One, uh, two, y, Three. A, the tourist industry. Okay, we are going to count from one to five. Vamos a contar del uno al cinco. Estamos jugando <laughs> el, el, el hang-up, el ahorcado. Okay, Carla, Carla, Carla. Number, let me see. Number two. One, two, three. Soft brand. The... Berat industry. Ah, Berat. Letter? 
Beverage. 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 Industry. Okay. Somebody else? Okay, let us go to exercise number six. Write a sentence to describe the expertise and the industry classification of the business below. Share your sentence with the pattern. Refresh and leave. At refresh and leave, we distribute soft drinks. We are in the beverage industry. Okay. Do you understand the example? Entienden el ejemplo? No, I don't understand. You don't understand. Okay. Vamos a escribir oraciones para describir la industria que tenemos al lado izquierdo. Sí. Yes. En la clasificación de los, de, los, de los negocios que tenemos, ya mencionamos algunos aquí, de, de los negocios que tenemos aquí en la parte de abajo. Por ejemplo, Refresh and Live se refiere a lo que ya vimos ahí arriba que dice At Refresh and Live we distribute soft drink. Distribuimos soft drink regarding the beverage industry. Relacionamos el de la izquierda con el de la derecha. Veamos fix and care. En cuál de todos se ajusta. Fix and care. Car component, teacher. Ok. Car component. We can relation it with the... With the car component. Fix and care. Component. Okay, but, but but I need that you create a sentence like this. Okay, we have to make a sentence. Yes, it's correct. <clears throat> Fix and care. Teacher, teacher. Uh, hello. Teacher. Oh, excuse me, I have a question. Okay, uh, fixing Fixing care um, maybe hair salon service? Yeah, could be. Fix and care. Okay. Could be, but also you can relate it with car too. Because the car can be fixed and you take care of it also. What about enjoying travel? Enjoying travel in tourism? Tourism? It's related with tourists, but remember that we mentioned something here. Let me show you where it is. Ah, okay. Right. Guide tours. Guide tour. Guide, guide tours. tours. Enjoying travel. We, we, we guide tours. We guide tours. We are in the tourism industry. Yeah, but I need a, a, the whole sentence. Necesito la oración completa. Not only one part, no. The whole sentence. Okay. At enjoy and travel uh, with guide tours, the tourism industry. No. Yes. Yeah. We are in the tourist industry. What about business bank? Business bank. Okay. Do it, Diana. Uh, business bank. We distribute. Distribute. We distribute. Distribute. Mm -hmm. uh, financial industry. Are the. Uh, I care. Banks. <laughs> okay, but in this case, uh, maybe we need to use another word instead of distribute. 
distribute. Okay. Sí, necesitamos usar otra palabra que no sea porque aquí en, en lo del business bank ya no distribuimos. No, ya no. Se, sería como servir. We offer. Oh, wow. Yeah, we care about your financial. Okay. You can say money to teacher. Yes. In a business bank, you can say a lot of money. Yeah, you can say a lot of money. You can do it. Okay. Okay, what about uh, the Sun Resort? In the sun, in the sun resort, you can stay one weekend enjoying in the beach. Okay. What kind of industry it is? ¿Qué clase de industria sería? The tourism, tourism industry. The, the oh, tourism the industry. Okay, the right. Uh -huh. Okay, let me see. Now we are going to talk about exercise number seven. I need that you prepare a two minute conversation about your companies, describe the company's expertise, industry, classification in the location, headquarter, branches, where it operates. And you can use the model of conversation in exercise two as a reference. And later we are going to present it to the class. That means that you can, uh, well, I'm going to assign you a partner in order that you can work with. Te voy a asignar a una pareja para que eh, trabajen juntos, pero únanse al, al, al breakout room para que puedan hacerlo y lo practican ahí unas dos veces. Tenemos dos minutos, tres minutos para hacerlo. Veamos. Here we go, here we go. Automatically, vamos a crearla. Ya los tenemos. Room number one, Edward y Stephanie. Karen, and the second one, Karen and Carla. Number three, Ada and Fausto. Num number four, Eliani and Genara. Number five is... Diana and Wilfredo, number six is Rosa and Roxana. Number seven is Stephanie and Walter. And number eight, Leslie Fernandez and I don't see somebody out here. Jesus. It's kind of weird because we have 16. Okay, let, let us do it. Recuerden que tenemos que crear una, una conversación parecida a la que ya hemos estado haciendo. Únanse, por favor. Hay algunos completos. La una, ya, la, eh, perdón, la uno ya está lista. La dos falta Karen. En la tres hace falta Ada. Número cuatro está completa. La tres está completa. La dos is completed. Uh, number five. Ok, go ahead. Walter Mauricio, Stephanie waiting, Stephanie is waiting.
A Leslie lo vamos a mover para la, la número 7, para que se vayan los tres. Porque me ha quedado solo. Entre los tres hacen la conversación. Una se Leslie. Eso, ahí está. Bueno, mantengamos, escribamos, uh, traten de recordar lo que va a hacer cada uno para luego presentarlo. Tienen tres minutos. Remember, you need to use your own name, the name of your company, and you are going to talk uh, in a natural way. Don't worry about it. Hablamos de sus compañías, de su información en una manera natural. Your work is really important because in that way you are going to develop your skills. Es una manera fácil para poder desarrollar las habilidades con un compañero. Okay, welcome back, welcome back. Okay, welcome back again. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay.
Ok, le vamos a dar la oportunidad a las ladies. Ladies, good, ladies. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Démosle, démosle oportunidad hoy a las ladies, que, que inicien ellas. Veamos quién se atreve. Mi Margarita. Ok, go ahead. Who's your partner? ¿Quién es con Edward. Quién? Ok. I want to see Edward too. Ok. ¿Quién hay estar? Yes, Oscar. Ok. Hello, Edward. Where are you work? Hi. I'm work in Cotegna. What does Cotegna do, Edward? Uh, we scanner our products that check in and check out in the country. It's very interesting. Bye. Yes. Yes. Bye. <laughs> okay. What's great? <laughs> Only two minutes. <laughs> yeah, of course. I know. I know. I know. I know. No problem. Yo, yo creo que nos pasamos un poquito, pero bueno, no importa. <laughs> ok, siguiente para, para avanzar, por favor. Ok. Wilfredo. Wilfredo. Nice reading. Hey, okay. hello, Diana. How are you? Uh, Tell me, Diana, where do you work? Do you listen to me? Do you really listen to me? Sí, 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 sí. Yeah? I see. I see. Is it okay? Uh, ¿Me puedes repetir porque no lo escuché? Hi. Can you repeat? Hi, Diana. Hi. Hi, Diana. Nice Hi, Wilfredo. Nice to meet you too. Where do you work? I work at the metal company. Really? Hey, great to hear that. And what do you do in your company? Uh, we make closet, um, gondolas, and pantries. Yeah, it's good. And tell me, how many branches does your company have in El Salvador? Uh, my company has four branches in El Salvador. In Merliot, Maferrer, in Soyapango, in... and San Martin. San Martin. <laughs> San Martin, you told <laughs> sí, Yes. Great, Diana. Great. Hasta ahí. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Nice, nice. Okay, next, next, next couple, please. Siguiente pareja, por favor. Eso, Nia Roxana, ¿con quién? Sorry. Eh, okay. Um, maybe Rosa. Rosa. I don't see Rosa. Rosa. Okay. Nice to meet you, Roxana. Um, nice to meet you too. To, uh, we're where the um, uh, company work? Um, where, where company, company industrial clothes, manufacturing clothes. Okay, and um, nice to meet you, Roxana. Yeah, and my, my company is, um, is false. It's false. 
finance service, um, the service uh, uh, persons. Okay. Okay. Hello, hello. Okay, that's it? That's it. Okay, thank you. Nice. <laughs> Next couple. Siguiente pareja, por favor. Me, teacher. Okay, do it, do uh, it, do it. Okay, do it, do it. Uh, Stephanie. Uh, I don't see a Stephanie. Okay, okay. Hello. Hello, Stephanie. Is the problem the connectivity? Yeah, maybe she has some problem in, in connections. Yeah. Okay, we are going to yeah, wait for her. Okay. Vamos a esperar que se pueda conectar. Siguiente pareja. Siguiente, ya no hay. Me, teacher. Ok, do it. Eh, with, with Fausto. Fausto, Fausto, ok. ¿Está ahí, Fausto? Fausto. Yeah. Yeah. Ya está. Ok, do it. Hello, my name is Ada. Nice to meet you. What is nice. your name? Nice to meet you too. Uh, I'm Fausto. I work for Claro. Mm, okay. Um, what does Claro Inc? Um, uh, we handle telecommunication service. Oh, I see. Claro has many brands. Yes, it does. We have many branches in the Salvador. Excellent. Thank you, Fausto. Fausto. Thank you, Ada. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Nice. Okay, next. Siguiente pareja. Me teacher with Genara. Ok, Eliani con Genara, do it. Genara. Hola. My name, my name is Genara. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Eliani. I work for John Wang, SADCB. Wang, Wang, Wang Doi, John Gun, SADCB, Du Eliani. We manufacturing the clothes. Oh, on C, Dongs, Yu, CB. Branch. Branch. No, it doesn't. We have a uh, one manufactory in the country. And we are the head guardi. Where They're in El Salvador. Bye, gracias. Okay, thank you. Next. Me teacher. Siguiente, siguiente. Apurémonos, apurémonos. Ya no queda poco <laughs> tiempo. Okay. You Hi. My name, my name is Mariela. Nice to meet you. 
nice to meet you too. Um, Karen, I work for down hard. What does somehow do, Karen? Uh, we public attention. I see that Tom, how, how many branches? Uh, not just two branch, two uh, tower branches. We are the headward. Uh, in the urban area of Mexicans. Okay. That's it? Yes. Okay, thank you, nice. Somebody else? Me falta alguien? Se lograría conectar la persona que no podía? Sí, ahí está conectada, creo que, que el, el audífono es que le falla. Con Walter, con Walter, creo que iba con Walter. Ajá. Stephanie. My okay. Padre, Stephanie. Ok, go ahead. Uh, <clears throat> hello, Stephanie. My name is Walter Mauricio Morales. Nice to meet you. This is Stephanie. Uh, uh, my is the Mexican majority. What is okay. your company? Uh, my what company... My company is Jongwone uh, El Salvador, Mano Industria. Uh, where, where are you? Um, Richard uh, Olocuilta. Uh, Aquarius. Uh, uh, Department of Paz El Salvador. And you? And your uh, company? Uh, majority Mexican. Oh, okay, uh, nice. Uh, my heart in promotor social. Okay. Where is the central center? Okay. ¿Dónde está tu oficina? Teacher. Ah, ok, ok. Head, um, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, my office is the central uh, Olopuilta and okay. city and city of the Pupusas. <laughs> city of the Pupusas. Ok, Phoenix Pro Ok. Ok, thank you. ¿Todos participaron? ¿Sí? ¿O falta alguien? Falté yo, teacher, pero yo estaba incluido en... Yo era... en el... Sí, iba, estaba, iban, estaba a hacer, iban a ir los tres juntos. <risa> sí. Ok, no problem. For the next time. Ok, remember that today we are going to start with... Uh, las asesorías serán personalizadas. Cuando se les indique, saldrán eh, todos excepto la persona que ya está calendarizada, que se quedará los 10 minutos del día de hoy. Estamos ya pues próximos a, a cumplir el tiempo. Sin embargo, eh, bueno, como ya se habrán dado cuenta, siempre tengo un material extra que me gusta compartir con ustedes relacionado al tema. No sé si lo pueden ver ahí. En este material, ¿qué yo sé? No, no, no. Se, se puede yes, ver. Yes. Yeah. Se puede ver el material. Yes, yes. Okay, right here. Maybe we are not, no, we don't have enough time in order to explain everything. Pero como estamos hablando de vocabulario relacionado a la industria, eh, en esta presentación que hice, se la voy a compartir al final y aquí van algunos términos, por ejemplo, en advertising, que es en la cuestión de la, de lo, de la propaganda. Ad, ahí está, mire qué significa advertisement, item of publicity for a product or service. 
advertising agency, a company specializing in producing and placing advertising for clients, etcétera, etcétera, etcétera. Así eh, aparecen un montón de palabras muy importantes, por ejemplo, related to banking, we have balance, the difference between credit and debit in an account, bank charges, money paid to a bank for the bank services, etc. And we have a different, different kind of information, for example, credit, money in a bank, some money to a bank, money lent by a bank, and so on. What is credit card, current account, debit, deposit account. In company structure, we have account department, AGM. This is a British, it is an annual general meeting of a company, shareholder. Es una, una reunión anual que se lleva a cargo. Eh, bolsos director, chairman, directors, executive officer, headquarters, lo que estamos hablando, manager, managing director, marketing departments, eh, talking about contract, agreement, appendix, arbitration, article, clause, and you have the explanation here, <coughs> condition, and for major fulfill hearing heading after uh, talking about employment what is a bonus circulum curriculum vitae dismiss employer fire what about this word fire to dismiss what is the meaning of the word fire hola Imagine that uh, the boss said to somebody, you are fired, está despedido. We don't want to hear that word. No queremos oír esa palabra así. Okay. Uh, as extra information, I'm going to share it with you related to marketing, brand, consumer, cost, develop, distribution, and, and user image, label, launch, mail order, related to money, ATM, automatic teller machine, card dispenser, banknote, a piece of paper or money, and so on. I'm going to share with all of you in the WhatsApp group in order that you have it, okay? And you can read it if you have a, any question you can send me a message and I can answer you giving an extra explanation. I need at least, let me see, two or three participation about the topic of today. What was the main purpose of the topic for today? Dos o tres participaciones que me hablen de cuál fue el, el objetivo principal que tuvimos hoy. Information about company. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Dos más. Dos más. Que me hagan un resumen the, corto de lo que vimos. The services offer, offered by S Company. Los servicios que ofrecen cada empresa. Ok. The services offered by every company. Ok. Somebody else? De las ubicaciones. O de las sucursales, cuántas sucursales tiene y todo eso. Ok. Y la última intervención. Un caballero, un caballero. 
information feature the location of quarters, bridges, and and what else? And what else? And two information about different industry in the country. Okay. Does it? Okay, thank you very much to all of you. Good night, good night. Okay. Uh, I'm going to stay here only yeah, with the person that is going to, to be with me today. Thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. Con la, persona, con la persona que se va a quedar conmigo, no se salga, se queda en la sesión siempre. Okay. El, el resto, bye bye. Bye bye. Y bye. Good bye. night. Okay. Good evening. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. And don't forget to uh, do your homework, please. Ahí le escribí, teacher, cuando tenga tiempo de ver. Okay, okay, okay. Porfa, gracias. Okay, Buenas you're welcome. You're welcome. Good night. Buenas noches. Good night, good night. Okay, Diana Carolina, you are going to have 10 minutes in order to clarify some ideas. And you are going to tell me the topic that you want me to reinforce and I'm going to do it, okay? Le puedo hablar en español. Hable en español si ah, quiere. Teacher, tengo un enorme problema. No, okay. no sé cómo solucionarlo. Yo sé que va a ser con la práctica, ¿verdad? Pero okay. Es que desde el primer día no le entendía. Okay. Ajá, como quizás porque usted solo habla en inglés, entonces a veces no le no le entiendo nada, se lo juro. Si no es por Margarita que a veces me dice Diana, esto está preguntando, no doy. Entonces okay. no sé cómo. Pero, cómo, pero sí, antes cómo, de que me antes de que me siga contando, ¿cuál sí. es la diferencia entre el primer día y hoy? Porque debe de haber ya un un, un espacio más. No sé si ahora, ya, sus sí, oídos no, ya, se, ya se van adecuando un poco. Y sí, con... eso. Y que también usted está, está explicando en español a veces. Okay. Cuando, ajá, eso me ha ayudado. Yo sé que a la larga tenemos que aprender solo pues, en inglés. Para, para eso es el curso, ¿verdad? Yes. Pero, sí, yo creo que no estoy <ríe> como en ese nivel todavía. <ríe> Y a no. veces que no le entiendo, teacher. No es sí. porque usted lo, lo hable rápido. No, no es eso. Es que no, no estoy acostumbrada a que, a que todo sea en inglés. Y a veces, pues, por eso no le participo, porque no le entiendo muchas sí. veces lo que usted pregunta. Generalmente, ese es un proceso psicológico que todos hemos vivido. Uh -huh. eh, yo recuerdo cuando llegué la primera vez, las primeras tres clases, entendía, pero era mínimo. Entonces es un proceso que todos pasamos, pero que debemos de, de, de superarlo, ¿no? Uh -huh. El objetivo mío y, y el de toda la, la, la corporación, inglés corporativo, es adecuarle su, su oído para que al final eh, vaya teniendo comprensión de lo que se le va diciendo, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Porque ese es el proceso. Entonces el objetivo nuestro no es eh, confundir a nadie, y si no, educarle su, su, su oído. Entonces yo pienso de que desde el primer día a hoy creo que ya hay un espacio donde ya más expresiones eh, ya se comprenden. Sí, ¿verdad? sí, algunas cosas sí se las comprendo. Sí. Entonces eso, eso, eso vamos así. A, al final del, del módulo, pues vamos a pesar y vamos a ver realmente cuánto su oído se, se adecuó. ¿Verdad? Ese, ese es el propósito y por eso es que también voy en ciertos momentos explicándoles en español y preguntando porque la única manera es esa de, de saber que ustedes participen para que así vayamos avanzando. Uh -huh. 
Cuando tenga duda, no se preocupe, levante su manito ahí, ahí, creo que ahí le aparece algo para mostrar que quiere participar y eh, no hay problema, con gusto le podemos aclarar cualquier cosita que esté ahí pendiente. Uh -huh. No sé okay. qué más tenga por decir. Pues básicamente era eso, que no ya va ni cómo decir eso. No, no está tranquila, no tenga. No, aquí no debe de haber este, el objetivo, estamos en un proceso. Entonces, en el proceso se van a dar infinidad de acontecimientos. Entonces es necesario, es necesario ir aclarando para ir viendo. Yo sé que es un, es un principiante número tres, yo sé que ya hubieron dos módulos previos. Pero mi objetivo es que cuando ya pasen al siguiente nivel, van a decir, ah, esa palabra ya la oí, ¿verdad? Ahora, sí. la otra cosa es, por eso les, les envié el recurso que les envié por vía WhatsApp, uh -huh. para que cualquier palabrita ahí mismo pueden escribir y ahí mismo encuentren la forma de cómo eh, se pronuncia. Ah, ok. ¿Verdad? Ok. Ok. okay. Entonces, uh, pues no sé si, si haya alguna otra, algo otra cosa, algún tema en especial que, que le haya quedado alguna duda o algún sí. tips que necesite. Este, ahora más que todo usted me dijo de que estaba hablando muy, como que no le, no le hallaba la, la, el tono a las a las oraciones en la, en la conversación. Ah, ok. Ajá, no sé si es porque lo hablo, hablo muy rápido o no se me entiende cuando hablo. No, el, no sé, el, no sé el, cómo, cómo lo ve usted. Sí, no, es que a veces lo que sucede es por cuestiones de comunicación. Cuando digo de comunicación me refiero a, al servicio de banda ancha que existe entre ustedes y, y, y mi persona, que a veces... El sonido viene y me llega ya a veces distorsionado. Y yo, yo más creo que hacía de pasar que algunas cosas que yo digo le llegan como en, quizás en fracción de segundos más tarde y a veces no se comprende. Uh -huh. Pero el objetivo es precisamente ese, ir paso a paso y poco a poco vamos aprendiendo. Sí, así ¿verdad? es. Fíjese que con los temas que hemos visto hasta ahora... Pues no, no he tenido problema. Ok. Porque ajá, después de la clase, pues hago la tarea. Y no, pues no, 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 no siento que, que me cueste mucho. Pero el día jueves, si no me equivoco, eh, dio la clase del IF. Y esa, como, pues como no estaba en esa clase, eh, cuando vi la repetición, pues no mucho la entendí tampoco. Ah, Entonces, del... no sé si me podría ayudar a... De, del video, cuando vio el video. Ajá. Sí, no sé si me podría ayudar a cómo, cómo a la estructura de eso, de, o para qué sirve el, el IF. Porque me imagino que tiene como una estructura. Sí, déjeme ver, porque no, no me recuerdo que haya explicado exactamente el, el, el uso del IF. Es que en la tarea, ahí, ahí... Había, ajá, en la tarea 4 salía... Era sí. solo de eso. Solo del IF. Ajá, ah, okay. y sí me costó. Sí, General, generalmente el IF se usa para, para condicionantes. Es una condicionante, o es sea. Una, es una condicionante, es como cuando usted le dice al niño, si no comes, Ajá. no jugás. ¿Ya? Ajá. If you don't eat, you are not going to play. Ajá. Para hablarlo así de, 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 forma, de forma general. Ahora ese, okay. if, ese if podría ir en el centro incluso. Uh -huh. No juegas if you don't eat. Así puede funcionar de, de, ambos, de ambos lados. Ah, o sea que no es necesario que vaya al principio. No necesariamente puede ir al inicio. Sí. Es que fíjese que en la tarea estaba... Ay, no lo tengo aquí, permítame. Voy a meter... En la tarea teníamos que ponerle eh, como la misma palabra. Mire que al, al final de puro chiripón la hice. Pero porque como le digo, no le entendía. Así no okay. le entendía. 
como usted iba a revisar la tarea en la tarde y la hice justamente en la tarde, o sea, ya no el me tiempo. iba a alcanzar el tiempo para preguntarle. Exacto. Ajá, y como le comenté, como no, el jueves no la hice. Mm. Y ya el sábado ya, ya me costaba un montón verla. Ya le digo sí. como, ay, 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 ay. nos queda tiempo todavía, dicho. Sí, creo que un par de minutitos para poder este, Va, rápido, rápido, rápido. clarificarle la duda que tiene, porque es necesario. Yo estoy tratando de ingresar a la plataforma incluso. Pero resulta la, que yo creo que, creo que va a entrar primero, porque no, 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 no me da paso. Sí, o sea que pues, en ese caso son... No es necesario usar el mismo verbo que estamos usando al principio. Podemos usar otro verbo. Mm. Como el que usted dijo. No, si es, no, es, si es no que, hace eso, no. Sí, es, que, es que prácticamente lo que se hace solo es cambiarse de, de posición. Pero de ahí uh -huh. lo, de, lo demás todo es igual. ¿En qué parte fue? Es la tarea 4, pero ahorita que me carga. Ah, tarea, tarea 4. Ah, es la 4. Ah, ok. Dice, read the following sentence and tie the value. Ok. Aquí lo que está pidiendo es que hay que hablar del valor. Veamos si puedo hacer esto. Ay, no. No me abre esa cosa. Permítame, quiero ver eso. Yo sí lo pude abrir. No, pero no, 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 no. Sí lo pude abrir, pero no me, no me. No lo puedo compartir porque lo tengo en otro navegador. Pero la, la, la cuestión era que ellos teníamos que usar el mismo verbo, teacher. Sí, sí, ahorita la tengo aquí. Lástima que no se lo puedo mostrar. La uno decía: If you are respectful, respectful. You show, en la instrucción decía, lee las siguientes oraciones y escriba el valor. El valor, ajá, sí. es que eso, el valor, o sea, no sí. le entendí. En, entonces eso. dice, mire, si usted es respetuosa, usted demuestra, entonces, ¿cuál es el valor que íbamos a escribir? Recuerda que estuvimos hablando de muchos valores. Ajá, sí, eso estaba en el libro. En sí, el... sí, por ejemplo, la dos dice, mire, si you are punctual, You show, si usted es puntual, usted demuestra. Sí. Y, y usted iba a escribir el valor. Ah. La número, eso es lo que yo no entendía. Sí, la número tres decía: If you are honest, you show. Si tú eres honesto, tú demuestras. Ajá. La misma palabra casi le va diciendo qué era. Ajá. Es que eso es lo que no, 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 no entendía. Sí, es posible. Si siempre que... vamos a usar la misma palabra, pero, pero por lo que me dicen, no. no Ahí va que, a depender es, es de que lo aquí, que nos... Sí, es que aquí, aquí lo que le están poniendo es la condición. Por ejemplo, dice, if you are a leader, si Ajá. usted es el líder, usted demuestra. Que... ¿Liderazgo? Ok, ahí está. Ajá. Y la última dice, if you are loyal, you show. Si usted es leal, usted demuestra. Eh, ¿qué era? No me la digo. Loyalty. <ríe> <ríe> Loyalty. Yes. Ah. Entonces, <ríe> sí. Por eso es que es necesario que cada vez que van a hacer una tarea y Ajá. no comprenden, me deben de escribir para, para que me pidan la explicación de cómo se hace Ajá. el ejercicio. Ok. Ok. okay. Perfecto. Yo creo de que Gracias, teacher. Ya Hoy con, sí. con, con eso, este, y, y, y sí. hágalo antes para que a la hora que le toque hacer el ejercicio salga bien, porque queremos notas buenas, excelentes, sí. ¿verdad? Y sin pena, para eso está el grupo, pero yo veo que nadie escribe, nadie pregunta. Entonces yo me quedo pensando y digo, bueno, ¿y qué pasará? Es que estos bichos sí son buzos, dice. Y claro, yo así pienso. Excelente. Me salieron, me salieron buenas para el inglés, dijo usted. Así es. Bueno, ok, creo de que ya Gracias. hemos clarificado eh, 
todas sus dudas y recuerde que estoy a la orden para ayudarle en lo que sea necesario, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. okay. Gracias. Excelente, si ya no tiene más preguntas. No, por el momento, no, ese, ese tema era el único que me costaba. Okay. Uh -huh. y, y, y the next time is going to be in English. <risa> para la próxima vez o oh, va, va a ser todo en inglés. Mm, va, voy a tener traductor. <risa> okay. ah, esa otra cosa que le quería preguntar, ¿podemos usar el traductor de Google? Para mm, algunas Sí, para algunas cosas que necesite, pero fíjese que ese traductor no es tan bueno. Ajá. Entonces, no es, yo no le estoy haciendo propaganda a ninguno, pero eh, allí les he compartí algo en Revise el Grupo. Ahí. Ajá, los links que mandó, ajá, ese, sí. ese estaba viendo. Entonces, ahí se puede auxiliar. Ok. Y ahí se puede ayudar. Ok. Ok. Gracias, sí. teacher. Ok. Bueno, ahí pasó muy buenas noches. Ok, igual. Bueno. Good night. Buenas noches.